Welcome to the 50th show of the nightly news. Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EESC cloud computing strategy branded a fail. The EU opens free trade route to four African nations. Germany reaches out around the world and asks, can we have our gold back? German ministers challenge EU fallow farmland objective. Plus, Anonymous announce a revolutionary call to arms. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. The European Economic and Social Committee, a consultative body of the EU, which means an outsourced lobbyist group that gets paid, their official website describes them as follows. The European Economic and Social Committee, EESC, is a consultative body that gives representatives of Europe's socio-occupational interest groups and others a formal platform to express their points of view on EU issues. Stupendously late to the market, see salesforce.com and Amazon Web Services to see how long cloud computing has been established. They've only recently jumped on the cloud compute bandwagon just in September 2012. Now, as I've said before, these are all moves by the state to affect dominant control over the internet. And if you want to control the information, where better to have it all than in the cloud and on a centralised computer network? This article investigates the state of play to date and you can expect legislation to follow. The EU Commission has decided to open up the single European market as a free trading zone for four African countries. This article digs deep into some of the motives behind these moves and also explains the details. For decades charitable groups have been lobbying for the removal of trading tariffs and quotas for all African nations. It is through these political and economic instruments that the people of Africa continue to suffer such abject poverty. Can this be right? Is this what you really want? Do you consent to our politicians imposing such sanctions on the people and nations of Africa? Of course, another thread to this article is that if the EU allows free trade with non-members, then surely that blows the whole single market argument that our politicians tell us is so vital right out of the water. Germany has put out calls to repatriate her gold, calling upon the US Federal Reserve and the Banque de France to return gold held in their vaults. This article looks at speculation that the Bundesbank might be preempting a Eurozone currency crisis. Either that or perhaps they need the gold to help counterbalance the Heidelberg printing presses as Mr Draghi cranks up the dial on the ECB money machine. The EU Commission has proposed that 7% of productive farmland be laid fallow as an environmental protection measure. This article details the completely misguided and ill-informed policy writing that goes on in the EU. Look, 2010, 2011 and 2012 have consecutively worsening global harvests. Agrimoney.com forecasts very poor yield expectation for winter wheat in 2013. The banksters have, since 2011, been speculating on these so-called soft commodities, which means food. And only recently, all the bakeries in South Africa went out on strike in protest of an 80% increase in flour prices. All reported in the mainstream news. So what do our Bruswellian brainiacs come up with? A proposal to reduce productive agricultural land capacity by 7%. Who votes these lunatics into office? Oh yes, I forgot. They don't. They appoint themselves. The Anonymous Group has released a global announcement initiating Operation American Freedom. This is a call from the group for people to prepare for large-scale protests and challenges to government. Thanks to our friend in the USA, Big Brian B, for sharing this very important announcement. Anonymous stated that the people are the fourth branch of government, and the state must always be made up of the people, and its actions must always be for the people. Over the last 100 years, a slow creeping plague has besieged Western culture. The 
People became decadent, disconnected and isolated from each other. The banks took control of first the money, instituting privately controlled banks, the Bank of England in 1694, the Federal Reserve in 1912, the European Central Bank in 1998 and more recently the European Stability Mechanism in 2012. And through these structures has established its control over the governments. These institutions ensnare our politicians, although it is also true that often they're complicit themselves. I believe this announcement is one of the single most important statements made of the 21st century to date. Government across the Western world should be very afraid of this call by Anonymous. Do not think that the people cannot peacefully overthrow their governments. The government of Iceland was overthrown by its people via the Kitchenware Revolution of 2009. A new constitution was written and subsequently a brand new parliament of MPs elected. Since that time, Iceland has gone on to introduce the laws required to prosecute the banksters at the helm of the Ice Bank, et al, for banking fraud and corruption. Today, in our video library, we have the anonymous announcement. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E-Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis, for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.